All three new units were unveiled today as part of the council's social housing programme, as Jared McCulloch reports. Another step forward for social housing in Christchurch. We were sitting here on a bare building site with a digger in place, having photos taken, having done the, um, the sod turning to celebrate the start of the construction project. Here we are today with three fantastic new units completed and ready for tenants to move into in the next couple of weeks. These new units were opened in St Albans today. It's been a big year for the Christchurch City Council and its housing portfolio, with many new social units being repaired and replaced. We are progressing, we are improving and we are adding to social housing in Christchurch. We had over 2,600 units and then of course with the quake we had a lot of closures and a lot of housing uh, units that were significantly damaged. And now gradually we are rebuilding and we're repairing those that have been damaged. These new properties are part of 41 new units under construction currently throughout the city, replacing 113 of the council's housing lost in the red zone after the earthquakes. The three units add to 12 already on the site. As we've been repairing and uh, you know tenants have been moving back in, they're re-establishing in their communities, and you know we're getting a sense of you know going forward. <laughs> A Māori blessing started the proceedings where the new tenants will soon make home. The modern units will help cater for the shortage of social housing after the quakes, with many being put into temporary accommodation while buildings are fixed up and built. These will be people moving into these units permanently, elderly tenants. Um, we've got units here that are fit for purpose, they're insulated, they're going to be warm and cosy for those people. And um, we've got wet rooms as, as bathrooms, fully accessible, and we've even got charging points for mobility scooters with each unit as well. Turner says they're well on track to have their next houses open soon. We're ahead of target in terms of providing the number of open units that we're needing to provide for the, the figures in the um, long-term plan. We've got a number of um, complexes exactly like these that we'll be opening between now and the end of the financial year in line with that target of um, 41 new units. So we're, we're either on target or in some ways ahead of target for exactly what we said we were going to do to recover from the earthquakes. But for now, there'll be a short wait for tenants expected to move in next month. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.